please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. <laughs> Greetings and salutations to you my beautiful nerds, it is I, Rachel S. How's it going? I have a lovely another capsule box to review today from the wonderful people of Capsule Box by Nihon Box. If you've not watched my videos of this service before, uh, previous like to the Gachu Gachu crate, it's a monthly subscription service. Uh, you usually get up to seven gachas in this box, so it's a little bit more generous than the other one. And if you're also a long time subscriber, you can often get bonus items like an extra gacha or snacks or something uh, that they just put in the box just as a way to say thank you. So they are a really awesome service. Uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of Neon Box themselves. So I decided to go for their capsule box as well. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's about uh, 19 pounds to the UK, but they also do provide free shipping. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a really great service if you love your anime collectibles. So, as uh, far as I remember in this box, uh, there was Pokemon, there was Quintessential Quintuplets again, uh, Dr. Stone, and possibly Kirby again. So, fingers crossed this is going to be a really great anime box today. So, without further ado, I'm just going to lay all the gachas from smallest to largest on the table and go through them one by one. Okay guys, so here's all our capsules on the table. So we're quite lucky today as we have eight different capsules. So we're quite lucky. Uh, so yeah, let's get to opening because I'm dying to see what we have. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you get a bonus item. So this is my one for this month. Uh, it's a mellow pan biscuit with like a red bean paste inside. It's actually very tasty. I had some last month and they're really nice. So yeah, I'm going to try those later after dinner. So let's get to open these gushes. So I'm going to work my way from smallest to largest. So let's open this red capsule first. So jujang. So it looks like we got a Kirby item in here. So let's open them up and see which one we have. So as always, I'm just gonna look to the pamphlet first to see what ones there are. So this is the series we got. So it just like it's not the same one as the last series we had in the Gacha Crate. I was hoping for another costume character. Uh, but instead we got Kirby wearing these different items so, or carrying items. So we have Kirby carrying a heart. We have Kirby doing some sweeping. We have Kirby pretending to be Spider-Man, uh, we have Kirby doing some painting, and uh, Jojo looking King DDD, which I don't want to touch with a 10-foot barge pole. <laughs> so let's open them up and see what we got. So, ooh, I got the one I wanted. I got the Kirby with the heart. So here's the figure. So here's Kirby looking pretty surprised. So you could just use him as a just a giant figure if you didn't want him wearing the heart. And here's the heart, so it doesn't clip on or anything. I think it literally just sits on his head. So if you want it to stay on there, you probably have to blue tack it or glue it. Or, um, yeah, just leave it somewhere where it's not going to get knocked on the shelf or somewhere. So that's really super cute. So I like that. So let's just look to the leaflet to see what the series is called. Uh, so this is the uh, Kirby Star Allies Gachapon Maru's man maru mascot series so here is a more classic gacha with kirby world in its star allies manamaru mascot collection this collection features four versions of kirby along with a mini figure of king ddd and get one of these gachas so yeah i'm glad i got the one i got i wanted so yeah super duper cute i'm just going to leave it there because the heart doesn't want to stay on there at the minute so let's get on to our next gacha before this video gets too long so jung so we have a nice little sakura pink gacha in here and i can see a little anime girl in here so fingers crossed Crossed, it's from a series I enjoy. So, oh yes, it is. It's the um, quintessential quintuplets series. So it looks like they're all hug cop figures that sit on your cable. So that's pretty cute. Uh, so, um, just to try and remember the names. Uh, so we have uh, Yotsuba, the quite ditzy, sporty like sister. We have um, Itsuki, the uh, sister that likes to study and wants to be a teacher. We have Miku, the really shy one that wants to be a chef, but she's really bad at cooking. And she's my favourite girl, she's adorable. Then we have the uh, Sanade sister, Nino. And we have the sister who wants to be a actress, uh, Ichika, who's the more mature one of the sisters. So I'm really, really excited to see which one I'm going to get. Uh, I would like uh, Ichika... Uh, uh, sorry, um, 
Itsuki, sorry, I remember the names. There's Yotsuba, there's Miku looking adorable, there's uh, Nino, the Sunade, and there's Achika. So, yay, I, I think I'm pretty sure I got this one because I did see a big purple little blob in there. So, yeah, well, I, I like them. I'll probably get the set anyway if um, I don't get what one I want because I'd like them all. Because I've watched series one and two, and it's a really nice little slice of life anime to watch. So, yeah. Here she is, we got Nino, the Sanade. So yeah, she actually was pretty cool in season two because she did admit her flaws um about being, you know, a bit of a bit of a hard head because once um, you know, she disagrees with something, she won't reagree <laughs> unless her sisters sort of um sort of persuade her. But yeah, she's really cute. I like it. Uh so yeah, I'll have to get Miku next because she's my favourite. <laughs> she's just so cute. Anyway, this is from the uh quintessential quintuplets hug club. So uh this month again you've got a little figure from your hug club collection in your box. This time it's the five sisters from the quintessential quintuplets. Uh they'll hang on to your cable. Which sister did you get? We're waiting for your pictures at hashtag capsule box. So yeah, there is a competition and basically you can win a three months worth of capsule boxes you win the photo competition so that was that figure there so let's go on to this one i think this is jujitsu kaisen because i recognize that logo anywhere so fingers crossed it's a really cool figure or some or a keychain i don't mind because i love the series so let's see what this is so, oh my god what is it <laughs> the, what is this it looks so weird it looks like looks like south part mixed with the rhyme on so it looks like we've got a little hanger series and there's five in the set and there's 300 yen which is about sort of two pound fifty i think uh so we have uh yuji we've got um nobra we've got megami um we've got satoro and the bad guy i can't remember his name <laughs> i completely forgotten uh basically he's the demon that's in a dory basically <laughs> so i'm pretty sure i got a dory because i can see pink hair so yeah <laughs> this is... actually this is kind of cute in its weird little way it makes me think of south park a lot with the short stumpy body and the little weird little face i kind of like it. it it'll warm up to me it'll go in my eater bag once i get some more to use the kites and badges and stuff but yeah i kind of like it it's it's weird and cute in its own little way um i would have liked satoro because he's my favorite character uh but ho ho i might get him in another box you never know so uh this is from the uh, fancy character jujutsu kaisen netsuke mascot so these jujutsu kaisen fancy character keychains they're origin originality lies in their design quite peculiar yet so original get one of six main characters in your box yuji Sadori, megumi fujigo nobura katsuki satoru gojo or ryo mento shukuna who i guess is the demon guy so yeah really awesome i like it it's it's very unique right let's go on to this one so let's see we've got some sort of dog or animal gacha in here and it looks like a squishy so it's either corgis or shiba by the looks of it so let's open it up and see what is on the leaflet so oh these are cute okay i need all of these they're adorable so they're all different squishies of shebas and corgis so we have uh these two shebas a black sheba and a orange sheba we have these two corgis so tan and peach and i think this is another sheba at the back with a sakura flower and a ribbon which i think is adorable uh so yeah there's five in this set so let's see which one we got and i think i got a corgi oh it's just so squishy so let's get him out of this little plastic bag prison now oh, we've got a little curly tail as well sorry it's stuck in the plastic oh this is cute so it's oh darn it i just dropped him on the floor Sorry about that, he just bounced halfway across the room where he was so, uh, like a little rubber ball. So it's not awfully squishy, you can't squish it all the way in because he's got like air trapped inside. But, you know, it's relatively entertaining for me or a child. <laughs> but I like it, it's really adorable and I love the face on it. So this will be a key person, I'm just going to pop in there. So uh, this is from the uh mamish mami shiba soft vinyl so oh, it's not a squishy it's a vinyl figure uh the manufacturer asume is back but this time with mashiba gachapon the infamous adorable japanese dogs in mochi version they are round shaped and squishy and just like a mochi and get one of five visions so yeah i like this one it's really cute it reminds me of a chihuahua more than a corgi but it's adorable right let's go on to gacha number five because this video is starting to get long already so it's a nice blue gacha i can't see what's inside so I guess to the 
mystery. Ooh, I, I recognise this leaflet. This is from the Pokemon Painter series. So it looks like this is the orange set. So, ooh, this is cute. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, got a bit of a cough. Uh, yeah, so I've had a few of these Painter series figures before. So I've got green purple and yellow and so this is the orange series so in this set we have uh growlith we have torchic we have flareon which is adorable and charmander i really want charmander and flareon they're my two favorite Actually, i want all of them I, I really want all of them so let's see which one we got put this to the side for recycling and oh we got growlith so i'm just gonna pop him out of his baggy and put him together so here's Growlithe, looking super cute and looking quite obedient, holding a paintbrush with some orange paint on. So I love this figure. I love Gen 1 Pokemon. Obviously, I'm a um, a child of the 90s and 80s. So yeah, I grew up with Gen 1. So love these. So I'm really after um, quite a few of these now because I want to complete all the sets, especially the green set. There's a Bulbasaur one I'm really after. Uh, but I'll probably want to complete all of these, to be honest. And this is actually really super cute. And it's well painted. There's a few molding issues, but it's adorable. And it's Pokemon, so I absolutely love it. So this is from the uh, Pokemon color palette orange series so the color palette collection that reveals artist you is back in an orange theme get either flareon charmander torchic tet pig or growlith in this painting workshop mode with paint brushes in their hands so super adorable so love that right so we're down to our last three gachas so let's just see what's in this yellow gacha so again i can't see so i'm just gonna pop it open and this is a really hard gacha to open so yeah so oh it looks like we've got quite a few parts in here so let me just look to the leaflet oh my god what is this so <laughs> this is weird we got a, very, a lot of animals with laptops and office equipment so we have a, a bear wearing headphones looking like he's doing a skype call uh we have a corgi looking like he's about to sit down for work we have a cat um sat on the table uh, it looks like he's wearing an apron or something uh we have another cat sat at the desk in a business jacket and we have a hamster wearing a face mask looking he's about to panic like he's forgot a stack of paperwork to do <laughs> so i'm just gonna open everything up and see which one i got guys here's our office furniture that we got so i'm gonna let you guess which one i got and i got I got the hammy and yeah sorry the light's a bit bright in here so <laughs> yeah I got the little hamster and this is just a really super cute figure so he's wearing a face mask he's got a black belt office outfit look at his tiny feet yes and his little tail <laughs> this is adorable and I love this so yeah I had to put it on the table because it wouldn't stay in place otherwise otherwise everything would have just fallen off everywhere so he's got his little laptop and table and chair and it looks adorable so yeah I love this so I'm just gonna zoom out so and so uh this is from the uh telework no ura series so now time for a completely wacky gacha with these mini animal figures working from home five in total a hamster two cats shiva and a bear hamster is even wearing a mask and it is going to melt your heart and yeah i love this this is adorable my mate steph is going to definitely want to steal us off me Okay, so we're down to gacha number seven. So we're nearly finished, guys. So this one is a Pokemon figure. So it looks like I'm going to have to put it all together and put all the flowers and stuff on him. So this is a Shaman figure. So I'll be happy to see which ones are in this series. Okay, so here's our figure all put together. So here's Shaman looking super adorable. It came in a few parts, but it was quite easy to put together. So really cute. So I'm just going to pop him there or her, whatever, I don't care. Uh, so here's all the ones we can get in the set. So we have Shaman, we have Grokey, uh, Bulbasaur, which I really want, and Pikachu looking like he stubbed his toe. <laughs> uh, so these are from the uh, Chupkara series, so really cute, and I, I love them. I have a couple already. I have Psyduck and a Pikachu somewhere. Uh, so these are from the uh, Pokemon Chup Chupkara series, volume 12. Uh, so here's the 12th volume of the Pokemon Chupkara collection. Each figure turns into a 10 centimeter tall figure. Get Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Shaman, or Grokey, and it's how hard to pick a favorite. Bulbasaur for me. No problem, because <laughs> he's my favourite Pokemon. Right, we're down to our last gacha, guys. So let's have a look. So, oh, we have a Dr. Stone item in here. I've never had a Dr. Stone um, gacha before. I've had one item from Nihon Box a while ago, a whiteboard. Uh, so let's see what we got. So it looks like they're all rubber keychains. So I 
don't know all these characters' names. I can't remember. Uh, I know that's Senko. And yeah, we have all the other characters from the uh, series. So these are the primarily bad guys from uh, the end of season one to season two, which was awesome. And here's the guys from the uh, science um, island. So yeah, really cool. I'm pretty sure I got Senku because I could see green and white hair. So yeah, here we go. So here's Senku, the main science dude himself. Um, if you've not watched Dr. Stone, I really recommend it. If you like action anime, but a little bit of learning in it, it's really cool because you do learn some really cool science stuff in um, the anime. Uh, so basically what happens is Senku is a student. Uh, basically, he's talked to his friends and then the next minute the earth gets hit with a green light and everyone on the world turns to stone. And uh, yeah, basically he keeps his mind busy so he doesn't completely stone up so his brain doesn't fossilize and uh yeah i think about like uh five thousand years later he wakes up and uh, yeah he starts trying to um rebuild and yeah and starts influencing science and using science to survive and he comes across the village and then he uses his science skills to, to basically help them learn and uh survive better so it's really cool and uh, yeah, this this evil dude here, uh, in the dub, he's voiced by Ian Sinkai, which is awesome. He basically wakes up, uh, was woken up by Senku because uh, he needs someone strong to protect him. And then he decides, now I'm going to kill all the adults, children should rule, and yeah, I'm going to make my own utopia. And yeah, basically it's him and Senku battling uh, with science against violence. And yeah, uh, science prevails. So <laughs> it's actually really cool. So uh, a really good anime I recommend watching. So anyway, uh, this is from the uh, Dr. Stone Rubber Mascot Keychain series. So uh, these little rubber keychains are featuring Dr. Stone's main characters. Get okay, one out of eight versions. So Senku, Taiju, Yuhira, Tosuka, Jen, uh, Kiro, Gino, Kahoku, Hoga, or Uku. Yeah, you can see why I couldn't remember all the names. <laughs> but I'm glad I got my main dude Senku because I love him. He's awesome. And uh, I really want a figure of him, actually. There's one out by Bandai, and it's a really super cool figure. So, guys, that was everything in the May capsule box. So, a really awesome box. I love this. So, just to quickly recap, because I need to go get dinner, we had uh, the Kirby figure, we had the quintessential Quintuplets Hukot figure. We had the really odd but cute Jujutsu Kaisen uh, personality figure. We had the squishy Shiba uh, slash um, uh, Corgi figure. So really cute. Sorry, my brain could not decipher what dog it was. <laughs> we had the Pokemon Orange Art Series figure. We had the little animal uh, work at home figures. I'm glad I got the hamster. The cute little Pokemon figure. And last, the Dr. Stone rubber mascot figure. So guys, what was your favourite item in this month's box? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, give this big video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. And I welcome all my new viewers with a big, big nerd hug. I can't talk. I'm hungry. I need dinner and it's really hot. Anyway, guys, until my next manga box or figure review today, I'm going to say sayonara. Stay nerdy. Stay happy. And wear a mask and keep safe, my peeps. Bye.